Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Precision Series Fabulous Lightning McQueen. So he was like a, I believe he was a Kmart mail-in like several months ago, I'm pretty sure, but I never actually participated in that, but I was able to get him on eBay only about a few weeks ago, so he eventually did come a few days ago, and now I have him. So we'll go ahead and take a look at his keychain first, and then we'll take a look at him and compare him to the regular Fabulous Lightning McQueen and the regular Precision Series Lightning McQueen. So on the keychain, it has some stuff about him saying he's a custom build 2006 race car, V8 engine, 750 horsepower, almost 200 miles per hour, and 500 foot-pounds of torque, and 6,500 RPM. And then it also says, 95 Fabulous Light McQueen, which is exactly how it looks on the side of him. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at him. So he does have an opening hood, just like most of the uh, Precision Series singles. If I can actually end up opening it. All right, so got it open. He's got a nice smiling expression here, and then here you can see everything inside. Looks really cool. He's got the Fabulous Lightning McQueen in a white and yellow, just like the regular Fabulous Lightning McQueen. He's got the 95 in yellow, and then on the back it says for Doc Hudson. It's got the Hudson Hornet symbol right there with the Rusties on the top, and then the 95 appears once again right next to it. And then he has 95 in all four corners of the very top, and then the Lane McQueen white writing on the very sides of him. So that looks really cool. Let's go ahead and get Precision Series Lightning McQueen to compare him to. All right, so here is the regular Precision Series Lightning McQueen. So they have both kind of different smiling expressions here. So you can tell that one has his mouth open, and that's the regular PS Lightning McQueen. And then here's the Fabulous Lightning McQueen, which it just kind of seems like it's just showing its teeth and not the actual inside of his mouth, because you can see my McQueen's tongue on that one. And then instead of like the yellow like outline around the red rims, it's actually just red. It's not yellow around them anymore. So the medicated bumper ornament is replaced with the four dock Hudson because that's the whole reason why he's painted. Because instead of the fabulous Hudson Hornet, it's fabulous Lady McQueen. So it's pretty cool. They look pretty cool together as well. Although. It seems that the model is a little bit thinned on the Fabulous Lightning McQueen, which I definitely do prefer, but still, I do like this Lightning McQueen. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the regular Fabulous Lightning McQueen. So, it's kind of almost hard to tell them apart, but once you actually take a good look at them, you can definitely tell which one's Precision Series and which one isn't. Because first of all, you'd see the outline of the hood on the Precision Series one. They both seem to be smiling pretty much just the same. They're just showing their teeth, but the Precision Series one has a thinner smile, it looks like. And from the side, they look pretty much the same. It's pretty cool, so there's nothing different there. Same thing on the back. The Rusty seems to be a little bit fatter on the regular Fabulous Line McQueen. But other than that, there doesn't seem to be many differences. The 95 on the top is the same, and the Lightning McQueen writing is the same as well, so. Look pretty awesome, but I'm gonna have to go with the Precision Series one. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. And, as always, I hope you guys did enjoy this review. And, my schedule should be posted sometime today, probably when I'm editing this video, I'll try and put the schedule up. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna review, but I've kind of got m most of the new stuff that I have reviewed. I mean, I know there's many more new stuff that I need to get, but there is some older stuff that I that I do want to review as well. And one of the videos this week should be a reenactment because I haven't done one of those in several months, and I do kind of miss those, so I'll definitely try and see which one was my last one, and then I'll see what the next cutscene from the Cards of Video Game was, so I can reenact that. So, we'll see you guys next time.